Good afternoon. We're in Bolnor Village. We're in the middle village area of Bolnor Village. And I'm actually standing on the uh, recreation ground where the sports fields are. And the building in front of us there is the Woodside Pavilion. That actually uh, has got all sorts of groups going on in there. There's an all-weather sports pitch behind it and a small skate park. And these are football pitches. Sadly, during the lockdown, they're still closed. This is a very useful big car park as well. So we're here to see a flat in Farriers Lee, which is just around the corner of these hedges. And if I just look up, this road in front of us here is called Up Down Hill. If I look up, Up Down Hill, there's some steps at the top which lead into the village square where there is a uh, large co-op store and a couple of other shops. And uh, just around the corner from there is the village primary school, which is very well regarded. The property we're going to see is just around the corner, but I just wanted to give you an idea of the location because this is a great spot in Bolmore. And uh, the property we're seeing is a coach house. It's number 18 Farriers Lee. And rather than a normal flat, it's one of these flats over garages. But uh, the nice thing about it is it, it is freehold. So you don't pay the large service charges associated with normal flats. Just either side of us are a couple of small little blocks of flats. Where I was, just the, the other side of that hedge is the big playing field, so great position. And the property we're gonna see is actually this first floor property in front of me. So that lovely set of doors is in the actual living room and that's facing west. So believe it or not, the sun is trying to break through up there. It's west facing, so the sun will be in this living area until the last point of the day. And as I come round, we're actually this right hand flat here above these garages. So the great thing is you are the freeholder. And although you own the uh, garage on the left behind this blue estate car, uh, those garages beneath are often owned by some of the houses. And in their case, their garage is leasehold because you're the freeholder. But do come in. So we've got a, our own front door which is shared with just uh, one other neighbouring flat. That's all secure, so you can keep that locked. And then come upstairs. I'll whip my shoes off. But come in. This is a very nicely presented coach house flat. Entrance hall here. This is a great sort of just shoe cupboard, but we all need a few of those. Another storage cupboard on our right hand side here. Excuse the door. And in the corner, Another big shelf cupboard, which is very much used as a larder and food overflow. I'll, I'm gonna show you around the flat as it goes. So firstly, on the right hand side, we've got the main bedroom. So there's a good sized double bedroom here. Big window here. So this window is looking back down towards the parking space. If I look around, as you can see, it's just a few other of these coach house flats around. Great position. Bolnor is very popular with families because it's got a really good primary school. And uh, the village is surrounded by woodland as well, which is just interspersed with footpaths and gravel tracks. Great for walking the dog. Or you can walk through to different parts of Haywood Heath and through to the station. You can walk to the town centre from here in probably 20 minutes. Station maybe 20 to 25. But in this bedroom, as you can see, two sets of double wardrobes. Absolutely spotlessly clean and very well presented this flat. The ensuite shower room. Some of these coach house flats aren't actually as big as this, and some of them that we've sold don't have an ensuite. But this one is uh, in price sensibly. The owners are keen to move. That's the second bedroom. So again, another double size. They've got a double bed in here, but a lot of people tend to just use this as a, a big dressing room or a study. If you want it as a bedroom, you could. One thing I didn't spot actually on the landing, was this skylight window, so that's quite nice. So we've got the lamps on in here, but didn't need them on. That's the family bathroom. Again, spotless. I think it's had new floors in here. It certainly has some extra tiling, so it's a fully tiled bathroom in here. And then come through to the living room. This is a great space. This is what I was saying. We're looking at those doors as we walk down the road. A big bright, Double aspect room. I mean, at this time of year, you can't see it, but in the winter, when the trees are down in that hedge, you can probably see right over to those playing fields. But very nice. I mean, in, in the summertime, it's nice to be able to open up these windows. It feels very summery, but big bright room, lots of windows, lots of light. As you can see, they've got a very big uh, corner sofa here, but you've got plenty of room for a lot more furniture than they have. 
table and chairs, and of course the kitchen. So various uh, integrated appliances here. That will be a fridge freezer, dishwasher, and an oven, and I'm assuming maybe a washing machine in this corner. Yep, washing machine there, an extractor, but absolutely meticulously presented. Another Velux skylight window there. The lovely flat. Now this being freehold, like I said earlier, you don't pay the service charges. I think it just would pay the estate charge, which is probably gonna be somewhere between 300 and 400 pounds a year. Um, rather than most of the flats in the village, you're paying normally at least 1500, maybe more, including the ground rent. So there's no ground rent to play on this one. But a good flat, if you wanted it as the first purchase, great if you wanted to just lock it up and go, or even as a buy to let investment, and should rent out for at least 900 pounds a month. I wouldn't be surprised if you can get a little bit more. I'm just gonna take you back outside and show you the garage, because the garage is directly beneath the flat and uh, has power and lighting. So those of us that uh, want a garage but don't want it for a car, that's all here. These garages are just a bit bigger, seem a bit wider than a normal garage and certainly a bit longer. But as you see, there's power and lighting out here. I mean, if you wanted a home office or something like that, you've got all the room to do all of that. But a big piece of space, plenty of room, and obviously the parking space directly in front. And the owners actually park their spare car just opposite. I hope you like what you see. And if you have any questions, please give us a call. Of course, if you want to come and have a look at it, please let us know. Thank you.